Ernie Rudden, and this is how our solar domestic water heaters work. First thing is, we have an aircraft grade aluminum case. Uh, the reason we say aircraft grade is because it's made from non-recycled aluminum. Uh, it's fresh aluminum, it's a, of a very high grade and quality. And the reason we do this is because we want it to last forever. Uh, most solar thermal collectors uh, have this one that we're talking about have a 10 year warranty, but most of them last for 30 to up to 50 years. Given there's no moving parts, it's just water on the inside. Okay, so the first thing is we have this, uh, the aluminum casing. And then above the aluminum casing, we have a layer of prism tempered glass. Prism, coming from the word prison, whoops, uh, meaning to imprison it and tempered, meaning it's extremely strong glass. You know, an acorn, a branch isn't going to break it. Um, now, a big thing about the solar industry a lot of people uh, don't recognize is just because the sun isn't directly out, they, they think that these don't work when that's not true. They actually work great. Just like you can get a sun tan or a sunburn on a rainy day at the beach, these things work good in the rain. Uh, because of the, pressure, the prism tempered glass, capture the rays of the sun, even if it's way over here, and pull it down into your solar thermal collector. Now, inside the collector, you have copper tubing. The reason we use copper is because copper uh, lasts for about, it lasts forever. Actually, the Bible was extracted from templates, uh, that tablets actually, from, uh, that were made from copper, uh, known as the Dead Sea Scrolls, that were 5,000 plus years old. So if it's good enough for the Bible, it's good enough for solar. Um, in between the copper rods, you have copper fins that are painted with black ionized paint, which make the temperature in this thing extremely hot. Okay, so you have the water in the tubes, and you have the sun shining down and sucking the sun into the unit itself. Now, it heats the water up for anywhere up to 300 degrees. Is, 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 I mean, it'll go as hot as steam. Um, and then it puts it down in the house. Now, we can't let it go into your house at 300 degrees, obviously, or everybody will burn themselves. So, this is a really bad drawing of your water tank. So, what it does is before it goes into the water tank, it mixes with tap water to cool it down to 120 degrees. That way you don't burn yourself. Then it goes into this tank, it swirls around, and if it ever gets cold, uh, it, it's really hard for it to get cold actually because there's about a three inch layer of glass ceramic, uh, meaning you'll lose one degree of temperature per day, which is really good. But say you go on vacation and it cools down a lot, what will happen to this? We'll pump it back up to the pail, reheat the water, and then send it back down. So in essence, this tank, though, is 80 gallons, is pretty good, but because of the rapid replenishment of the water and how it holds the water in the tubes up here, it's actually more closer to a 100 gallon tank. And that is a brief explanation of how solar domestic hot water works. Very well.